Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and uh, hopefully I can recover in this game from my silly mistake in the last game of not getting the longest road. Uh, it was a very very beginner mistake and a very silly mistake. Hopefully I do not repeat any or do not make any mistakes this game. Anyway, so I am in the third position and uh, I do see that there is a decent amount of wheat and uh, sheep available on this board. Also, uh, quite a decent amount of wood, but it's all clumped up in one place. Not a lot of brick at all. My only concern is the numbers are pretty repeating so whenever eight rolls there will be a couple of people who get sheep and a six will give wheat and same as for four so that is something which would be like it would be more difficult to get trades uh, orange goes for 693 i think that's a pretty good uh, spot here And I think uh, black can go for 834 here or maybe 611, 4. Me being in the third position, I think I would like to go for something like 6311. Grab the best wheat and uh, a decent ore and uh, some brick. I think 8410 is also a pretty good spot here. And that is surely something that I will consider. So, so getting a spot like 8, 4, 10 and 6, 5, uh, 12 seems to be a good setup as well. Although not a lot of break, but um, with the help of the 3 to 1 port and the sheep port, I think um, we can have a good game. I might also go for something like 9411, 6511, but I'm not sure if I will be able to get both those spots. Oh, black is taking quite some time to decide what they want to do here. I think black might go for something like 6411. Or eight four ten. There is no decent wheat sheep spot available, or else I would have gone for it. Something like six five eleven. So here I do have the option of going for either 843, 6411 or 8410 and I think I will go for 8410 here. Yeah, I think the 8410 with, um, with the help of uh, wood, with the help of the 3 to 1 port is a good place to build. That said, I think in that case, black can, sorry, red can go for something like 6411843 and have a pretty good setup. So maybe mm, I need to block one of those spots. But then if I go for 843, black can go for 6411, which is a stronger spot, especially because the fours are not cannot be blocked at the same time so it's a difficult choice here and i think i would just look out for getting the best numbers and uh, resources that said i think 810 will be open for me if i have to go for a second setup second placement spot so maybe i should go for something like uh 
फाइव टेन फाइव फोर इलेवन और मे बी सिक्स इलेवन थ्री और एक्चुअली आई थिंक आई जस्ट गो फॉर सिक्स फोर इलेवन हियर एंड मेक श्योर दैट नो बडी एल्स कैन गेट अ गुड वीट स्पॉट नाउ I can point to the right. I know I will be racing for the eight four spot with anybody who places on eight three ten. But this way I get the best wheat, a decent ore and um, decent brick. Although three isn't decent, but on this board it isn't the worst. And also I make sure that red cannot get a good wheat spot now, unless they have to go on six two. Or maybe five ten or five two, so we will be on the fringe. That said, red can now go for something like nine five ten, eight three ten, and try and go towards the wood port. but if that happens i will surely go for 8 4 10 myself and uh, i will have a pretty good setup points upwards wow so this does give me the 8 4 10 spot open uh just considering do i want to go for 8 4 10 4 5 11 or 9 4 11 here and i think going for 8 4 10 makes the most sense Uh, i will also have the possibility of going to the wheat port if needed i know now black can go for 9411 11, but i think uh, it is fine for me a little worried that maybe orange might go for 84 here and uh, cut me off but i think uh, that is in the worst case especially because i have another option of building a 3 to 1 on building a 3 to 1 port but still that would be much better for orange than for me because 84 is a pretty good spot as compared to only 8 but looks like building on 634 was the right choice um uh, and i did not consider it till the very uh, end moment i was thinking of 6411 834 8, and 8410 so this was a good choice now orange might go for 510 but yeah that that doesn't seem to be the right choice i think going for 84 yeah does go for 84 here So I would want a few early sixes to roll, so that I can just get a city early on. Here, I think uh, black has to block the uh, eight sheep and steal from red, especially because both of them are trying to go for the same nine twelve spot. Okay, blocks the three brick. yeah i will go for it <clears throat> uh let's see what he gives me uh let's see if i can get a ore as well okay uh yeah because i had accepted the no steel trade here i do not have much choice and for me i don't think wood is the most important resource just now i mean early on in the game i would still want to go towards the 3 to 1 port uh but getting a city and a few dev cards is a lot more important 
So cannot do much with the cards I have in hand. And red is able to get to the 9-12 spot. Here, uh, orange steals from me, but I think uh, that was ex expected to some extent. Uh, I would need to roll a 7 or else I think I will have a difficult time making progress in the game. I need to slow down red and orange in some way. Because red once red gets the wood port, red will be very very strong. I roll an 8 but not much that I can do. Nobody has the weed that orange is looking for and looks like orange is just trying to get a city so we'll hold on to these cards now after doing a 3 2 one Another 5 rolls, I would love to roll a 7 on my turn. Your, yeah, I mean all these trades are fine, but there's nothing that I can do. I still need a 6-2 roll or even before a 6-2 roll, I need a 7-2 roll. Yeah, so doesn't make any sense for Orange to accept any trades. Here, another 8 rolls. I think I don't have much choice. I'll just do a 4 is to 1, get a wheat. And I think I can get a dev card. I get a victory point. Wow, that's really unlucky. Not the card that I needed at all. Maybe I could have just held on to the wheat in hand, but there was a good chance it would have been targeted. So orange can now easily get a city. Uh, they do have few wheats in hand, a couple I would say. And does get a city. Another 8 rolls. So these 8s are really really nice for uh, orange, especially because orange has been able to do 3s to 1s. Hopefully I can roll a 7. I do roll a 7 here. And uh, I will block orange for sure. I get a sheep so I can go for... Actually I cannot go for another dev card. I don't have a 3 to 1. Uh, so I'll just end my turn. A 6 does roll giving orange a couple weeps in hand.
here uh, let's see if i can get a wood and a brick getting a road towards a 3 to 1 would be important if a four rolls i will surely build a city on the 64 uh, three tile another six rolls that's pretty good so now if a four rolls i don't even need to do a 3 is to 1 or oh, sorry 4 is to 1 I would surely want a 4 to roll at this point. I think that is the only roll which helps me to make some progress in this game. Uh, yeah, so black gets a couple of dev cards. I think black was just trying to get a city there. Uh, 11 rolls here. And let's see if I can get any trade. If any of one of these trades go through, I'll just get a road. If not, I think my best chance is to get a dev card after doing a 4 is to 1. Uh, hold on to a ore in hand. So I do get a year of plenty, that's pretty good, especially because I want to build a settlement. Uh, three rolls, that's a pretty good roll for me. Orange gets a couple of dev cards. Yeah, black needs to block orange now and gets another dev card. So I think black and orange will be fighting for dev cards. So now I still cannot get a, uh, because I don't have any sheep in hand, I cannot get a, uh, get a settlement, but I will still build a road and end my turn. Maybe I can try and get on the 4-3 spot, uh, sorry, 4-11 spot, but before that I think I need to get to the 3 to one port. Your red has to block the 9 ore. Yeah, it does block the 9 ore, which makes complete sense. I mean, orange is in a very, very strong position. And uh, here, let's see if I can get any 1 is 2 2 trades. I won't accept a 1 is 2 1 for sure. Uh, yeah, red just gets a settlement completely fine with that. So red is in a very strong position now. Orange plays a knight, blocks the six. Shouldn't target me, it does target me, wow, very unlucky and uh, yeah, not much that I can do, lose out on a wheat there. Yeah. Your I roll a seven. I think I have to target orange. 
I do get an ore, but not much that I can do. I'll just end my turn. Ten rolls giving me a word, uh, giving a road to red and an extra break in hand. Maybe I should have blocked the eight wheat. Oh, uh, sorry, eight sheep. But uh, blocking the nine ore is fine as well. Yeah, so I don't know what Black is talking about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the speed at which Red is building roads is huge. I mean, I don't know um, what I can do in this spot. I need to get a city soon enough, but for that, I need a few six. I mean, I know I need to work with black, but I'm not sure how do I get the uh, get the longest road here at all. There is no way I can do anything about that. Yeah, or orange space because everybody is targeting orange. Oh, uh, I think at this point my best chance is to get a settlement. I don't want to spend my year of plenty on brick and wheat, but because sixes aren't rolling enough, and whenever six and four ro rolls, I think I should be able to make use of it. So I'll just get a settlement at this point and end my turn here. The six does roll, so I still need another six and four to roll. Orange here can block the six wheat or the five wood. Blocks the six wheat. Hopefully, doesn't steal from me. Okay, doesn't steal from me, so that's good. A uh, six rolls there, unlucky. Here. Yeah, I think I don't have much choice, but at this point, I'll just hold on to these cards. Black and orange are already fighting for the largest army. I need to get a couple of cities before I uh, get in that fight. Hopefully a 4 and a 6 rolls. 4 has rolled only once this game. And that has been a little unfortunate for me. I roll a 7 and I think I will target orange here. I do get a wheat. So let's see if I can get this trade here. If not, I think I will just have to get a single dev card and end my turn. Seems like nobody is willing to trade and uh, black and orange are in a fight or in this chat. Yeah, red is just 
playing their own game, getting stronger than everyone else. Here, I wouldn't want to trade with Orange at all. So now, at this point, 11s have rolled more than uh, 4s. And not much that I can do. I'll just hold on to these cards. Getting dev card isn't going to help me in any way. Yeah, and orange and red are trading it seems. So, I think it would be just be GG for both me and black. Orange rolls a 7 and continues to block the 6 wheat. Very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, there is nothing that I can do about that. Plays a road building, gets to the ore port as well. So let's see what black does. Black will block the 8. Okay, blocks the 6, which is completely fine by me. Here. Actually, none of these trades make any sense because I still need a 4 and a 6 to roll. Yeah, I mean, I can provide card, but then that doesn't help me in any way. So, let's see if anybody wants a sheep, I will accept this trade or else I can just end my turn. I can convert my... Uh, yeah, I think I can convert my sheep into ore and end my turn here. Okay, uh, this not sure how I was trying to trade with the bank. Yep. And just end my turn here. A four does roll immediately after I do that. So very unlucky there. So at in my I would want a six to roll. I would want a uh, black to roll a six or maybe black to roll a seven and then for me to roll a six. No, no. I think uh, I would want uh, black to roll a six so that I can get a wheat, get a city on eight three four. Wow! Instead, just rolls a nine. So cannot do anything here. Yeah, the lack of sixes is very, very bad for me at this point. There have been far too many eights as compared to sixes. And I don't think red is going to give away a wheat to black I mean if I 8 rolls I will still get a city but I would want a 6 to roll on my turn
Black just does a 4 is to 1 just to get a single dev card, I think. And 8 does roll here. So, um, yeah, I think this is the only choice I have. Get a city so that I can improve my production and uh, try and win the game later on. Because at this point, if I do not get the city and a city on 8 4 10, I cannot do anything at all. Most likely, Orange will be able to get the largest army. Red will get the longest road. So I will be fighting for third. So I should not be helping Black in that sense. Excuse me. So I should not be helping Black in that sense. Yeah. So now a 6 and 4 would be an excellent role for me. But looks like it is going to be very difficult for... I mean, those roles haven't been happening in quite some time. Red on the other hand is already on 8 points. Wow, another 11 rolls here, but so black will be able to get another dev card, but uh, I don't think that would only extend the game and uh, help black stay in the second position. Yeah, red is being greedy, but then for red, I think red is already in the lead and winning. So I think at, in my turn, I hope I roll a 7. I think that's the best case scenario. Instead, I roll a 12. And I'm not sure what I can do here. Maybe I can just play my knight and block red in some way. I get a brick which doesn't help me at all. I do roll a 6. So I unblock basically a 6 for uh, orange there. And now orange is targeting red which orange should have done long time ago. Here, I will accept this trade because it does give me a road. Um, yeah, I can accept this trade, I think, because getting two ores is not a bad thing for me at all. Uh, nine rolls here, so not sure what I can do. Maybe I can just build a single road and end my turn. Another three rolls here. So in the next turn, I will be able to get a city. And yeah, red is already on nine points. Yeah, your black might also be on eight points. Wow, orange plays a road building. Whoop. 
and uh, not a knight so maybe orange still cannot get the largest army here very surprising wow a seven rolls at a very unfortunate time for me so should block the eight sheep might block the 10 word i think uh, yeah so yeah does block the eight sheep has to steal from red and this doesn't help me at all <clears throat> so i'm still hoping for a 6 2 roll on my turn or a 7 uh, but 7 doesn't help me to either uh, 5 rolls here so absolutely nothing that i can do all i can do is get a dev card and end my turn i do get a victory point so that is some saving grace but i still think i am not too far ahead in the lead orange will be getting the largest army or should be getting the largest army yeah it does get the largest army here and i would love to see if uh, black can roll on 7 here I think black needs to roll a 7 and uh, I need to roll a 4 so that I can get a city your orange most likely would be on 9 points as well if orange has a couple of victory points Yeah, I can accept a trade here uh, because if not, I can at least get a uh, dev card on my turn. Wow, a 4 does roll, so that's pretty good. So I will be able to get my city and a dev card. Wow, so these twos are also helping everyone now. So orange here is surely yeah is able to win the game. And I end up on the fourth position with uh, seven points. So seems like orange has one victory points, green has two, sorry, gray black has two, and I have two here. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say my initial setup was bad. Um, yeah, I was blocked quite a bit early on in the game. But then, yeah, for me to match Orange's production was absolutely impossible. Especially fours did not roll much, and six uh, and eights rolled quite a bit early on uh, maybe i could have gone for 843 but yeah that wouldn't have helped me much uh, yeah i'm not sure i mean i'm not sure what my what i could have done differently do let me know in the comment section if you believe it was my setup or maybe some gameplay uh, mistake that I made here because when it comes to road building I think red had a better chance than me and when it came to uh, dev cards orange had a better setup than me I was stuck somewhere in between but uh, there was absolutely nothing that I could have done differently is what I believe
maybe i should have gone for 843 but that would have left something like 6411 8410 open for red and maybe i could have then gone for 9510 myself and played the type of game red played but yeah it's a difficult choice here and it's like in hindsight everything makes sense yeah, and when it comes to dice statistics also yeah 8 rolled quite a bit and yeah so my numbers also did not roll like 4 rolled only thrice and 6 also did not roll enough like 5, 9, 8 all rolled more than 6 here 11 rolled more than 4 so did 3 so yeah I mean I wouldn't say my setup was bad based on the dice statistics I would just say that I was a little unlucky Yeah, even 10 did not roll much, so I wasn't even able to get a row, like wood, wood uh, to build any roads and settlements. So, based on the die statistics, I would just say I got very unlucky this game. Like, if you compare 6 and 8, 6 performed worse. When you compare 4 and 3, 3 performed better. 10 and 11, 11 performed better. yeah so anyway i so this is again a loss for me but um, let's take a look at the leaderboard and now i think i i'm still part of the top 300 but the last three games i have lost a few uh points or uh, ratings and i would want to change that momentum and Hopefully, uh, have a winning game in the next in the next video. Anyway, uh, bye for now, and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.